Hi and welcome to Shorsa's classes. Today we are going to be dealing with complementary functions of higher order differential equation. Let's begin with a simple sum. We are given here four different questions. But in order to solve that we need to understand a very simple process. We adopt trial solutions. That is we assume y equals to a e to power r t therefore y dash equals to r a e to power r t and y double dash equals to r square a e to power r t also we consider the general solution of the reduced equation that is the homogeneous equation which looks like y double dash t plus a1 y dash t plus a2 y equals to 0. Now we put these three values in this equation and we obtain a e to power r t into r square plus a1 r plus a2 which equals to 0. Now notice in this part in order for this equation to be 0 the part of r square plus a1 r plus a2 needs to be equals to 0 since a e to power r t can never be equals to 0. Thus we obtain a quadratic equation r square plus a1 r plus a2 equals to 0. Now we find the characteristics root r1 comma r2 by the formula minus a1 plus minus root over a1 square minus 4a2 whole divided by 2. Since the value of a over here is 2. Sorry the value of a over here is 1. Now we need to remember three cases and three equations and that's it. We will be done with the whole differential equation part. For case 1 when r1 is not equals to r2 but they are distinct and real. We will be doing examples and you can see from that. In that case yc or the complementary function takes in the form of a1 e2 power r1 t plus a2 e2 power r2 t. Notice r1 is not equals to r2. We will take the next case that is case 2 of repeated roots that is r1 equals to r2. In this case we will use the first one with a slightly modified version that is yc equals to a1 e2 power rt plus a2 e2 power rt that is equals to a1 plus a2 e2 power rt. Now there is a further complicated process since I have sort of stopped here. We will do a modified version and you just need to understand that and remember that. That is yc equals to a3 e to power rt plus a4 t into e to power rt. Always use this formula. You don't need this formula. Just for how the process is done, I have shown you this formula. We will always use the one that I have put it in a box. And this is the most important case and people make mistakes. Notice there is a term T multiplied with A4. And this is the case 2 that we have. Now we will go to an interesting case that is the case 3.
that is when r and r1 and r2 equals to h plus minus vi that is complex root we can write the complementary equation as yc equals to a1 e to the power h plus vi into t plus a2 e to power h minus vi into t it's that simple now let's jump into a very simple sum now we'll find the complementary function of number c you can try the others on your own i'll give the answer at the end of this video we'll take the homogeneous form y double dash t minus 2 y dash t plus y equals to 0 we'll use trial solution that is y equals to a e to power r t y dash t equals to r a e to power r t and y double dash t equals to r square a e to power r t now we'll substitute all these values in our homogeneous equation i'll do it in a separate page so you can see all the calculation on one go upon substitution we get the following equation thus r1 and r2 equals to minus 2 plus minus root over 2 square minus 4 into 1 by 2 which comes to this equals to 2 by 2 which equals to 1 thus r1 equals to r2 equals to 1 let's assume this as r thus we have repeated real roots thus the complementary function is yc equals to a3 e to power t plus a4 t into e to power t and that's very simple process brought us here now when you are given a proper differential equation you will find the particular integral which i have done it in a separate video and you add this complementary function and there you have it you have solved the whole higher order differential equation questions now i'll do another one a bit and i'll show you the answers to the rest of them i'll do number b in short see the whole process again and proceed as further number d will be just like the one i have done before let's see number b this is the homogeneous equation these are the trial solutions that we are going to put in this equation now let's see what the roots come thus we obtain the characteristic equation in the following manner giving us minus 1 and minus 5 let's see how to write the complementary equation you can refer to the earlier part of the video if you have forgotten thus the complementary function yc equals yc equals to a1 e to power minus t plus a2 e to power minus 5t the first question all will be done in the same following manner do number a and d and i'll show you the answers in just a while these are the answers to the questions that you have tried i think it will match to mine otherwise please check your answer there might be minor mistakes if you have done it very good like subscribe and stay tuned for other such exciting videos thank you